Unfunded, burdensome mandates have made public schools less accountable to their communities. Local school districts joining forces to send a strong message to Columbus. Stop the erosion of local control of our schools. They say unfunded mandates and constant testing is a burden to the taxpayer, the teacher, and your child, too. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson live in Mason with more on their message. Karen. And Mike, Mason administrators joined leaders from 40 other area school districts to announce the formation of the Greater Cincinnati School Advocacy Network and their message to Columbus and D.C. back off. Call the helping kids bookworms. Summer reading is fun, but once the school year rolls around, it has been really stressful for her because she gets tired from all the testing. And <sighs> she doesn't want to do her homework then. So. I don't. You don't. No. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> Same story for fifth grader Sam Boucher. He even said to me, they're pushing all this content on us that doesn't have anything to do with what I'm supposed to be learning. It's just extra and um, it's stressing the teachers out and we're all stressed out. School administrators from 41 districts in Hamilton, Butler, Warren and Claremont counties say they too have had enough. We need more local control of our public schools. They say state and federal mandates have made the job of a teacher nearly impossible. It's time for the state to stop trying to fix a problem that doesn't exist. And instead of helping academic performance, local leaders say mandates are reducing opportunities for innovation. That our local school boards should be making decisions. They're the property taxpayers, they're representing their communities, and they should have the lion's share of the decision making about what their school should look like and uh, what the requirements and mandates should be in their local communities. Another concern, compliance, which is costing districts millions. When I think about how I have to hire a half a dozen technicians to send millions of pieces of data to Columbus and to Washington, D.C., when I could be hiring teachers instead, that's where the real value is. At the end of the day, districts say it all trickles down and hurts the students, who typically like to learn. I reached out to the Ohio Department of Education to get its response, but I have not yet heard back. Reporting live tonight in Mason, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, thank you. Districts say they intend to reach out to their communities and try to get parents and taxpayers to voice their concerns as well.